Thousands of students in Duval County went back to school today, and one of the oldest high schools, Andrew Jackson, is writing a new chapter. Its graduates include actors, athletes, even former mayors. And tonight, I'm taking a look at the school's history through the eyes of former students. It has been 49 years since I was at this school. but The hallways may look different, three. but for Dr. Donna Richardson, who graduated in 1969, the memories are still the same. So tell me, who was in this classroom? I believe we had Mr. Sipilot in there for um, Americanism versus Communism, which was a required class when we were seniors here at Andrew Jackson. After attending college, Dr. Richardson became a teacher herself in Duval County Schools. She just retired from Mandarin High School as principal. There was a lot of school spirit, I think, when we were here at Andrew Jackson. Flipping through the yearbooks, looking at the old pictures brought a smile to her face. Believe it or not, she was the Andrew Jackson Tiger. And uh, I wore this uniform and always drew whiskers on my face. <laughs> Excuse me. Darcel Fisher Harris graduated in 1971. Most school spirit, most intellectual. She moved to Andrew Jackson from Matthew Gilbert when schools became desegregated. Had every superlative had a Caucasian set and an African American set. Some of her memories from high school are painful. She says there was some racial tension. And that was right around the time of civil rights movements. And so things are a lot different now. It's better, it's improved, but there, I mean, there's still a long ways to go. Through the years, challenges have plagued the school. In 2011, Andrew Jackson was ranked as the lowest F grade school in the state. You know, it breaks your heart because you want the school to be successful. This is our alma mater. You know, and we're proud to say that we're Jackson Tigers. But seven years later, that all changed. With the leadership of Principal Chicoya Clinch and the designation as a magnet school with more programs, the school is overcoming its troubled reputation. I think she's been successful with a lot of the students. As a matter of fact, my grandson graduated here last year, and he loves Dr. Clinch. A school with a lot of history and lessons of its own now writing a brand new chapter. And we have launched a year-long project with Andrew Jackson High School here at First Coast News. This is part of our initiative to make Jacksonville a better place to live.